In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to make portrait videos with blurred backgrounds. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in open shot. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought this video clip into OpenShot and I want to stretch it first of all so that it fits across the screen. So making sure that you're actually in advanced view, it's the easiest way to work with this, with your clip selected scroll down to you can see scale and the words best fit and right click on this then left click stretch now because of the way OpenShot works you might find difficulties going any further um, the more you ask some of these um, editing programs to work the more likely they'll crash um, so to make this easy what I would do I've assumed you've set up um, open shot to your uh, profile and everything is come to the top of the screen and look for the film strip that says choose profile and left click on this now in the profiles box make sure you keep a note of your settings so you can go back to them so in your profiles box just left click and find a very low profile video format I'm going to use this mobile 360p left click on this and then left click close just come to the top of the screen and decide where you want to save your um, your video so I'm going to just put it on my desktop just for ease and I'm going to give it a description I don't know let's call it background I'll do and then I'm going to just left click oh the other thing you don't need audio so just go into the advanced tab and where it says video and audio just left click on this and then left click video only and then just left click export video Okay. Right click on your video clip in the track that you've got it in and then just left click remove clip. Now if it gets stuck with uh, showing you your clip just go to the beginning and then back. Now drag your clip back in to the timeline. Now first thing you want to think about is whether you want to see this clip as it is and um, they can look a bit lost so if you're happy with it you can skip the next uh, thing I'm going to do but if you want to just increase the size so you're going to scale it up so that you know if you fit fill the screen more but you're going to lose a bit of the top and bottom if you right click on the clip and then left click transform what you need to do is keep an eye over this side here so really what we want to be looking at is location and the scale boxes and then just place your pointer over the left or the right um, sort of blue dots until this happens and then just drag it out now it might collapse but carry on and let's say we wanted to make this clip about that wide that's fine now if you come over to the left hand side we've scaled this up so that it now says 1.58 
So if that's in the x axis, x is left to right, y is up and down. So x says 1.58. Now I can scale y to match that by just left clicking here and typing 1.58 and hit return. And this happens. Now if you place your pointer over the blue dot in the middle, hold down your left mouse button, you can reposition your view up or down. Okay, so let's just place it down. Now when you're moving it, like I said, you're moving it on its Y axis. So let's say we wanted to um, place it about there. And again, this time you need to look at the location. So Y, we're not going to change, but X is moved a bit. So just left click in the X location box and type in zero. Now I'll put it back in the middle again. Okay. Next thing. Bring your background clip into your um, projects file and drag this so that you can see it behind your video clip. Now obviously this isn't fitting properly so like we did before in the scale box right click and then just left click stretch. Now all you need to do is to the right of the screen look for the box next to blur hold your left mouse button down and drag it into track 3 so it's on the actual clip and this will happen. If you want to adjust it, look for the little button, have a B in it, left click on this and this will happen. And now you can adjust your blurriness by dragging over your horizontal radius. So I don't know, let's take it up to there, around about 20 and your vertical radius. So we'll take that up and that's all there is to it. Now the other thing, make sure before you go into render like we did before, choose profile up here, the film strip and reset it back to the original setting that you were, mine was this one here and close and back to render and like I said before, I assume you got some knowledge of what you're doing in uh, OpenShot, so I won't go through rendering this. Make sure your video and audio selected if you want it. That'll come off the top track, and that's really all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Cheers.